Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome to the first ever Minecraft Pocket Edition Redstone tutorial on my channel. This is something I've been wanting to start for a while and I thought I'd put it off into 2016 as it would be a good way to start the year off. And in this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build this toggable door. Now how it works is very simple, normally when you come up to an iron door you would have a lever to next to it, you'd simply flick it down and then open the door. What this does instead is if we actually right click or if we click this button here, it's going to open up the door and keep it open forever until we actually go onto the other side here and press this button on this other side where the red block is. And then if we want to come out this way, simply press the button where the green is and then we can close it by pressing this button on the other side. So it's a very simple contraption and that is what these Minecraft Pocket Edition tutorials are going to be like. They're not going to be as advanced as the PC one, so if you were looking for something like that, um, unfortunately it's not going to be. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to build this now. So the materials you're going to need for this contraption is 10 redstone dust, 2 redstone torches, four buttons of your choice, I've just got some stone ones, one iron door, and 64 blocks of your choice. So the first thing that we want to do is dig out a 4x4x2 four by four by deep hole, so let's go ahead and do that now, so 1, oh, one, two, three, four. then let's go 3 this way because we've already got 1, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, then three to the left, and then just back to the start here, and then dig out the rest. Now dig this down one more layer. Now you want to come to this back right corner here, and what we're going to do is we're going to go one block back, and then we're going to place a block here, and then two to the right. Then on this middle one, we're gonna place a block on top and this is basically where our door is going to go onto. So you're gonna place your door down now. To the left and right of this block, center block here, we're gonna place a piece of redstone dust. On the front face of this left one, we're gonna place a redstone torch. And then in front of the redstone torch, a piece of redstone. And then you wanna go three to the right, two forward, and then it should connect up to this redstone here. You'll notice that the door also has now opened. Come around to the back here, and what you want to do is get your remaining redstone torch, place it on the back face of this block, and then place your remaining two redstone to the left of the torch here, and then that should connect up to this redstone here. Now we're going to hop out, and what we're going to do is we're going to get two of our blocks, place them on top of the redstone on the left and the right here and then on the front and back faces of these blocks we're going to place our buttons so one here and one there and come around the other side and we're going to place one there and then the remaining one on that block and we are basically done so if you want to close the door now all you simply have to do is uh, trigger this left one and the door will now close if you want to open it you simply press the right one now if you're new to my redstone tutorials and you aren't familiar, I actually go over how this actually works just so you guys can actually learn from it instead of just showing you guys how to build it. So it's very simple, when we actually open the door up, so let's just close it real quickly. So the door's closed right now, to open it we have to press this button on the right here. When we do, this powers this redstone underneath which, allow, which basically turns off this redstone torch here. This redstone wire here is going over onto the top of this block, which that is actually turning off this torch here. So when this um, when this torch here actually turns off, it turns on this redstone torch, allowing this redstone here to turn on, which then powers this center block here and allows the door to open. So I'll give you an example real quickly. So we press that button, the redstone here turns on, that redstone torch turns off, which then allows this one to come on, and then that um, redstone here is going into the center block which then opens the door. And then same basically happens um, just the opposite way around, so we press this left one, um, powers this redstone, turns off this redstone torch but then, which then stops, well, which then closes the door, 
allows this other redstone torch to come on and uh, yeah, very simple. Now we're going to cover it up. Now make sure you don't cut off any redstone or make any clocks with this torch down here. So don't place a solid block above this torch or over here. So you want to simply instead place a half slab like that, which from the top looks like a full block but really isn't. And then here, uh, make sure that you place a slab there as well, or that will uh, cut off that redstone. And then simply again, three slabs at the back here. And then you can go ahead and uh, cover it up as you normally would. So you can go dirt, dirt, or grass, whatever. Now if you want, what you can do is actually decorate it like this. So on the right side here, I've put a green block, and on the left side here, I've put a red block, and it's just more easier to indicate what um, button is which. So green equals good, and then basically red equals bad, which means close. <laughs> Pretty simple. So that's gonna end off this redstone tutorial today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did make sure you hit that like button This is actually my first ever minecraft pocket edition redstone tutorial So I'd definitely love to see you guys support on this show your support Tell me if you want me to do more of these as well if you have any ideas for redstone tutorials Let me know in the comments and um, this is going to be an ongoing series now on from my channel so make sure you subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.